forest menstruation 11 this forest menstruation 11 lecture i'll be continuing this trigonometry in forestry up to the forest menstruation lecture number 17 so there will be series of lectures based on trigonometry in forestry trigonometry method will be will be applying uh, to measure the tree height in uh, slopy areas maybe leaning tree maybe uh, difficult uh, type of situations so if we see this lecture by one by one from 11 to 17 it will be easy for us to understand so so let's understand about the trigonometry in forestry in my previous lectures already i have told about uh, ocular estimation than a non-instrumental method uh, and instrumental method also we were doing but now i'll be taking up a uh, pure trigonometry in forestry now already these uh, three things already i have told that is uh, uh, this is very important in trigonometry we call it soso ka toa so this so ka toa these three things when we remember like uh, this is a sign method we remember this sign is opposite over hypotenuse this is very important for non right angle triangle to measure the trees which are not at right angle and then we do tangent tangent means we do for right angle triangles like this is tan opposite over adjacent this opposite is unknown for us and this adjacent is known for us so we do tangent so this i'll come in the coming lectures how to understand this uh, so ka toa and where to apply this one so uh, i have to tell you about the instrument where we will apply this some instruments to take degree my earlier lectures i already told you about the percent scale how to take the height by percentage or percent scale by a clinometer but here i'll be telling you about how to take the height by degree in a degree scale because we are we we, are, we will be measuring about the triangle we'll take the triangle so triangle will have degrees in three sides so some of these three always will be 180 degree so this is an abnis level abnis level is an engineering instrument which is based on trigonometry principles although it is very robust but bubble can be knocked out of alignment during this rough treatment so uh, this is a very handy and very user friendly instrument uh, we, we it has a hollow tube here then we have this horizontal wire here this is a rotating knob here uh, we will have one uh, spirit level this is a spirit level here and we'll have uh, a bubble will tell how much it is in the level uh, then uh, this is you can see the bubble is coming here this will tell at what level it is a spirit level which is attached to this uh, real screw and then uh, we, we, we can peep from one side this is a scale this is a degree scale on the lower side this is a degree scale and we need degree scale so this is zero from zero we can go to right hand side we can go to this uh, left hand side also and this is a uh, index arm this is an index arm we can see the arrow which points to know about the readings and then it is this is graduated to 90 degree up to here 90 degree up to here 90 degree so each division here in this vernier uh, scale each division gives reading of 10 minutes here so degree will read from here minutes will read from here and then we will peep up from peeping when we see we have to match this uh, what you say bubble uh, with the horizontal line horizontal wire of that instrument to the tip of the tree but uh, i think uh, better if we see uh, practically how to measure this by this instrument because using instrument is very very important and by theory we cannot be so much practical so let's see how to uh, measure the tree but let's understand about first instrument that is called abnis level this is an abnis level this is an engineering instrument used for contouring for forest survey for taking height very simple instrument we have a eyepiece here from here we can peep and this is we can see this is a hollow tube with an eyepiece here and then it has one horizontal wire you can see this is a horizontal wire here when we peep from this end and we will see the tree and we'll fix the top of the tree to this horizontal line and then we will try to read the reading with this spirit level this is a spirit level here you can see this is a spirit level 
with the bubble you can see bubble is there this is a bubble when the bubble comes in the center with this horizontal line there's a mirror you can see there's a mirror there inside from this mirror we can see the uh, adjustment of bubble coming equal with the horizontal line and the top of the tree then we'll read the reading we have a semi uh, circular or we can say semi arc this uh, graduated scale we can see it has zero here and then on the right hand side also there are up to 90 degree 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80, 90 and on the left hand side also we can see the same reading this is for the up uh, for uh, both side upper and lower alpha reading alpha degree or beta degree on the top of the tree or base of the tree we can get it from here by rotating this this we can this is a wheel screw rotated we can rotate this uh, index arm this is an index arm and it is fixed with the uh, spread level where both can be rotated and this bubbles this we can adjust this bubble with the horizontal line and then wherever it has been uh, matching coinciding this bubble with the horizontal line here this one when we peep from here we can see the reading from this index arm here we have one arrow you can see this is an arrow suppose it comes here somewhere here we can see it is five degree and this is the vernier scale here on the top this the lower one will give us the degree and this one will give us the minutes so we can see that arc is graduating to the degrees up to 90 degree and the vernier scale in fractions of degree each division of vernier scale will give 10 minutes so we can uh, go through like this scale is matching we will take it 10 minutes 20 minutes like this so this way we can read the readings in the both side by this index arm this is the index arm so very simple this instrument is very simple as just now we have seen that how easy it is to use so this is about abnis level so before we go ahead we again i want to tell you about the two things one thing we will be most commonly using is a toa this one this is for right angle triangles when a triangle is a right angle we'll be using this toa for right angle triangle uh, many trees will be vertical maybe in the slope but we'll be using a tan method tangent method and another one will be using is a sine method this is not a non right angle triangle method so uh, this sine method has some sine rules this again and again we have to read it so we remember this sine rules so sine rules are sine angle acb over ab is equal to sine acab over bc over sine abc over ac so these are proportional to opposite sides so we will know this one and we we'll learn about this one about the sine method this may be for leaning trees so tangent method is very important as i told you first of all we we'll learn about the vertical trees like uh, in tangent method i told you we'll do in a right angle triangles and like case one observer is at the middle of the tree you can say this is a slope observer is in the somewhere middle of the trees so this is a, a uh, up to a g is the height so this is a observer he sees it up to d so this we will measure this c so you can see the angle a e d we are measuring by a uh, tangent method we are taking the tangent method and if it is possible for us to measure this e d then also we will do by tangent method but if it is this d to g is not possible for us to measure as a horizontal it is too high then we'll apply here uh, cos so we should know where to apply cos <coughs> and where to apply tangent so <coughs> as we get the height later on we'll put the i height here second case will be observer will be below the bottom of the tree see uh, a tree is a bit higher and we, uh, observer is below so this is the second case here a e b again a e b will be applying what will be applying the tangent method and if this is not possible to measure ed because you cannot dug inside the ground we will be applying cos here so third case in a vertical trees when the tree is vertical uh, the observer is above the base and the top see observer is here above the base and the top so this is 
uh, tree top is also uh, lower than the observer so even base is lower than the observer in this case again we'll apply tangent but we'll apply in tangent in a e b and also cos for this one if it is not possible for us to measure so another case is sine this how this word the tangent method now next is the sine method from sine method we do of the leaning trees we can see the tree is leaning actually it should be to a to b but it is leaning here c b so when it leans away it is always underestimated it is always underestimated so it is not it is an error so this is error of a lean tree and when it is uh, coming towards the observer it is coming towards the observer here a b it should be c b but it is coming a b so what is there it is overestimated so this is an error so for such cases we will be applying sign law and sign law is very important to remember as you can see uh, this is leaning here this is leaning here so any triangle of sines angles are proportional to opposite sides so these are the three sign rules and uh, we will have to uh, calculate uh, this tree height by this sign rules then this angles actually what happens this angles these are the angles uh, which we don't know we have to make a for a calculation any triangle we have to make one straight line or right angle and we have to also know about the leaning of this tree means this is theta so this how much it is leaning from its axis we should know about that one for that one we have devised one uh, let's have a demonstration of this self devised uh, uh, simple instrument made by wooden to measure the angle of a lean tree how much the tree is leaning from its axis so this is a device made for by wooden and a plywood for making uh, taking the inclination or or the angle of the lean tree so it is made of a baton baton we can see one baton which has a length of uh, approximate you can make a length this this baton is of length of 1.60 meter and uh, we have one uh, semi circular disc and the the dia of that uh, disc is 1 meter. meter and the radius is 50 cm and uh, this is we can take one uh, reading of this uh, how much uh, the tree is leaning so we can have to put in the straight uh, axis of the tree so this is a leaning tree and we can see the reading with the pendulum hanging there with the bob, uh, pendulum hanging there uh, and the uh, reading is how much degree 18 degree so 18 degree is that uh, leaning uh, of this tree and this is a very simple device made up of a plywood we have cut down a, like a protector it is a inverted protector uh, we can see this is uh, 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 5 10 15 10 15 20 25 30 like this on the right hand side and on the left hand side also 5 10 15 20 20 25 30 up to 90 degree so this way uh, we can have the inclination and theta angle of this uh, uh, tree leaning so we, on the back side we can see it is a very simple device with a baton we can uh, make like this uh, just uh, we have to put it but it should be well uh, graduated and calibered so this is a very simple uh, device made of wooden for the foresters and uh, very easy to take the theta in the sloping uh, uh, when the tree is in the sloping leaning towards the observer or away from the observer so this way we can take the angle of the leaning tree just now we have uh, seen a very simple device uh, with very less uh, uh, expenditure we can make this device and this is graduated and calibered very nicely so that we can know about the angle of the leaning tree by this simple device now height of a leaning tree we should know how, how to measure the height of a leaning tree there will be some cases one case will be like uh, this is an observer here and tree is leaning towards the observer but it is on the slope you can see the slope here so this is this is the angle we are making this is a theta yes, this is a theta leaning theta with that simple device we are learning 
then next one is it is leaning away this is learning away when it leans away again we have to make one triangle as you can see this triangle is been made by 90 degree here to calculate by trigonometric method so we will learn about this one also how to do this uh, when it is observer when the tree is leaning towards observer or away from the observer the case two where we see observer is below the bottom of the tree now it is uphill he is on the lower side earlier he was in the uphill tree was in the lower side in this case observer is in the lower side tree is on the uphill and again two cases are there one when the tree is away from the observer and another case is when the tree is towards the observer in such cases how to measure the tree height in a leaning of trees either towards the observer or away from the observer when it is in the uphill we will also learn about this one the case 3 tells us the observer is above the top of the leaning tree now it is he observer is on the top of the leaning tree the tree is below so in such case also tree may be leaning away from the observer and tree may be towards the observer so in such cases also typical cases when uh, we have to take the height of a tree and there are different type of terrains very steep slopes and observer is on the top how to measure the tree height by trigonometry method we learn about this one by sign rule so thank you very much this uh, lecture number 11 is the initial lecture for the trigonometry now lecture number 12 i'll be taking and that is very important will be start going from lecture number 11 12 up to 17 covering the trigonometry in forestry for taking the height of a tree thank you very much